This is the Ziyulang T8 65% mechanical keyboard. Now what's inside the box is this, the board itself, the cable, the manual, and of course the key cap puller. Now let's go review this thing. Okay guys, so here is the keyboard. I like the quality and feel of this board. Now at the back you can see a hole, I think the dongle is supposed to be there if this is a wireless version, but I got the wired version. Now for the Shopee link, it's a bit different, it's not ZULang, it's CT68 Tester. Now as you can see there is also the ZULang logo at the bottom. This is what Red Dragon would do to their keyboards. And on the left side, there is the Type-C port. So, so far so good for the build quality and looks. Now let's take a look at the RGB. Okay guys, this is the RGB of this mechanical keyboard. To change RGB, you just press FN. So we got the default version. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 18 modes, okay? Not bad, okay? Very nice. Okay guys, so we have red switches over here. And they're GCN switches, okay? So it's not quite clear here, so I'll just put a text over here. They are GCN switches, and unfortunately, they are not hot swappable at all. Bummer. But that's okay. I'm sure we can still mod this thing as much as we can. Now, let's take a look at a quick sound test over here. Let's take a look at the caps lock first. Enter. Enters readily. Backspace. Rattly 2, shift. Yeah, rattly and... Alright, for the spacebar, I do have to say I already mod this because this is the rattliest spacebar ever. So I put some jelly tape and I also put a band-aid mod to this. Now the band-aid mod for a non-hot swappable board is a little bit different, okay? So see, I put some jelly tape, at least to make it sound less hollow, and I put some band-aids down there. Alright, so it improved a little bit, but I still need to lube this thing to make it sound better. Okay. Now, for the typing test, okay, let me just plug it in. Alright, again guys, I'm not going to show you the words, okay, because we are just looking for the sound. Okay, okay guys, let's start the typing test. We're looking at 25 words and go. Okay, it's not as loud or clacky. I do have to say these are quite deep and bouncy. This is, yeah, deep and bouncy. Okay guys, here are my final thoughts of this mechanical keyboard. So let's go with the pros and cons. So first is the size, 65%. This is the perfect mechanical keyboard size for keyboard hobbyists and enthusiasts and especially for gamers as well because it's short, doesn't have a numpad, and it has the useful arrow keys. Second, I also like the price $1,200 for a 65% mechanical keyboard. Third, I have to say the build quality. It feels, you know, it has some good weight to it. It feels durable. It does look actually, you know, quite nice and clean. Yeah, pretty nice. I think it looks like the RK71, if I'm correct. So those are the things that I do like. Now let's go with the cons. Unfortunately, guys, this is not a hot swappable board. So that is a big, that is a big downer for keyboard enthusiasts and hobbyists, right? And another thing that I don't like is the spacebar stabilizer. It does feel a little bit rattly. So from the moment that I have tried the spacebar, I put some jelly tape and some 
the, I put some band-aid on it so it can sound a little bit better, but it still needs some lubing. And so that's basically, it's not hot swappable, rattly space bar. The switches are a bit deep, but I think for some people, they like deep switches. So, you know, that really isn't a con. Maybe that's like a personal issue. And another thing that I want to point out that, you know, I also like the RGB. I actually forgot about telling you guys that. It's nice and bright, detachable cable, but these are the things that, you know, are basically the standard of budget boards or even high quality boards. Good RGB and has a detachable cable. So I didn't really put that for the pros because that's basically, you know, a normal thing for mechanical keyboards nowadays. Nobody likes, you know, undetachable wires anymore, okay? And everybody likes, you know, the RGB or rainbow color effect, okay? So other than that, for 1,200 pesos, not hot swappable, but still you can do some mods with this board. So my rating for this is a 7.5. I would have given it an 8.5 if this was hot swappable because our rally space bar is very easy to fix if it is hot swappable. And even if it's not hot swappable, you know, you can still, you know, put the band-aid mod and then lube with a syringe, okay? So 7.5 out of 10, very good board, the most budget-friendly, 65% mechanical keyboard out there. Okay, but don't worry guys, if you're bummed out that it's not hot swappable, I think I have a number 65% mechanical keyboard that is hot swappable. Okay guys, stay tuned for that. Again guys, if you like this video, give it a like. Comment below what you think. I have Shopee or Lozada links below if you want to buy this keyboard. If you want more of my content, please like my Facebook page. Alright guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, bye!